Hello and welcome to another session. My name is Moisés Ramírez and this is session uh, 12. Okay, let me check if I'm recording. Yes, okay, right now it's two minutes before the, the, the session starts. Uh, I always start two or three minutes before the, the given time that is eight o'clock. And right now I'm just, well, here waiting for the participants to join me. <clears throat> All right, if you can see me right now, it's because I'm doing some, uh, some things. The session hasn't started yet, so I guess I'm allowed to not show my screen, but whatever the case, I'm going to turn on my camera back right now. There they are. It's me. All right, let's open up the attendance document. <laughs> I'm waiting for them for some documents to open up. I thought there was there was a participant. But she left. I don't know why. Today is March, March 16, right? Yes, March 16. Okay, I'm still waiting for the participants to join in. Only one minute has passed, it's 8 and 1 p.m. Right now, I'm just checking my the documents that I am going to use, my PowerPoint presentation. I also have a Word doc and only that, right? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello, Maria and Mayra. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mayra. How are you? Hi, Maria. Fine, thanks. Maria is, or Mayra is saying hello, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait for your classmates. It's only two minutes past the past eight. Okay. Okay. And as you know, we take attendance at eight and five minutes.
Hello, welcome everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. How was your day? It was okay, a normal day. Okay. Okay, people, we are waiting. We only are going to wait one more minute and we are going to take the first uh, attendance, okay? For the functional people. Thank you very much for being punctual. Hello, Carla, welcome. Okay, I don't know why, why, no, not, never mind, never mind. Uh, creo que voy a poner esa expresión en las de vocabulary. <laughs> ya que se me acordé. Never mind. Okay, people, welcome to another session. Uh, thank you for your punctuality. And we are going to take the first attendance as it is eight and five minutes, all right? Darwin. Uh, Delmis. Doing. Hello, can you hear me, right? Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, Fatima. Present. Present. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Uh, Fidel. Flor de Maria. Irving Josué. Jose, sorry. Josué Adán. Juan Ernesto. Karina Beatriz, Carla Here. Verónica, thank you, Karina. Carla Verónica. Present. Hey. María Estela. Present. María Vanessa. Present. Welcome, María. Eh, Mayra. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Nelson Edgardo, Ofelia, Here, teacher. Eh, Raquel, Present. welcome, Tatiana, and Walter, okay, anyone didn't, okay, did I miss anyone? No. Nope. Ok, alguien que se acaba de conectar y no lo mencioné. No. Ok, eh, ok. I, I see that we only have women today. Yes. No men here. <laughs> right. Ok, very good. We are going to start uh, girls. <laughs> And we are going to start with... Oops, sorry. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was trying to share my screen. Come on, computer. Help me out. Okay. Now, uh, thank you very much for joining. And as you can see, this is the topic for today. Okay. Is good morning. 
All right, and in today's topic, we are going to also talk about the, the present, the simple present versus the present continuous. We are going to talk about the differences between these two, these two structures, all right? And well, good morning, right? That is today's topic, even though we are teaching at night, but okay, now, before we start, we are going to watch a video, okay? But this video, you are going to watch it, uh, okay, uh, by yourself, okay? So, uh, espero, verdad, tengan muteado su, su, su micrófono a la hora de ver este video. Recuerden, ver el copyright y esas cosas. Este es de YouTube, verdad? Así que les voy a mandar ahorita el link. El video, vea, dura aproximadamente... Seis minutos. La verdad no me gusta eh, poner vea, videos tan largos, pero créanme, este video vale la pena. ¿okay? Si ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? Este, sería bueno de que si quieren lo adelantan o algo, ¿verdad? pero solo para recordar más o menos de qué trata. Pero si ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? tampoco se van a estar ahí los seis minutos viendo un video que ya vieron. ¿okay? The video is entitled The Employment. ¿Ok? Or in Spanish, el empleo. Ok. Bueno, en el, en el momento en el que está viendo este video, voy a resolver algunas, algunas incertidumbres que tienen sus compañeros en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. So please watch the video. Ok. Watch the video in your phone or in your computer. The video, as I told you, is a little long, but is totally worth it, okay, watching this video. Just watching, and after that, we are going to answer and discuss some questions, all right? Recibieron ahí en, en el WhatsApp? Uh, can you uh, put the link in the chat, please? Yes, I just send it to the WhatsApp group. Did you, can you see it? Uh, yes, but mm, no lo puedo poner acá. No, mis, es, es, eh, eh, recuerde que esto, esta videoconferencia se sube a, a, ¿cómo se llama? A YouTube, ¿verdad? Yeah. Y este video es de YouTube, así que sí, si, si aparece aquí, o sea, sería un gran enredo ¿verdad? con los copyright y, y pues, okay, pues thank you. cuestiones ¿verdad? ya legales. Así que espero su comprensión, ¿verdad? Vale, permítanme un momento, voy a ver lo que dicen sus compañeritos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Darwin. What happened to you, Darwin? Eh, en Spanish, teacher. Hasta ahorita me dejó conectarme. Ah, okay. Yes, I saw you at the beginning of the of the session, but then you left. I don't know what happened. Okay. Que lo vi, le digo al principio. Vi que ahí aparecía su nombre, pero no sé por qué se salió. Este me, me sacó. Uh -huh. Va, los demás, si gustan, ¿verdad? Muteen su, muteenme a mí para que no los interrumpa viendo el video, ¿verdad? En estos momentos no voy a decir nada importante, ¿verdad? Les voy a dar ahí, vean, los cinco minutitos ya, ¿verdad? Ya pasaron seis, ¿ok? In the meantime, I'm going to explain some, some things, but before doing that, some students have some questions in the WhatsApp group, so I'm trying to solve those issues right now. Y tampoco me puedo conectar, no tengo navegación, solo WhatsApp. Uf. Es un problema nacional que tiene Tigo. Toda la tarde ha estado con problemas de internet. Hola, teacher, en mi trabajo estoy todavía al llegar a la casa y me conecto. No Darwin era. Ok, bueno, hay algunos estudiantes que dicen que tienen algunos problemas, pero ahí ya no, ya no me compete a mí. Así que vamos a trabajar solo con los que están acá.
Okay, right now students are watching a video that we are going to discuss in a little bit. Okay, uh, the video is for reflection, but this reflection has to do with, with working and with employment, with their jobs. Uh, as you can see, these are the two questions that we are going to discuss. Uh, the first one is how do, do you treat your coworkers? And how do you feel in your job? For example, how others treat you, right? This has to do a lot with the video because uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the video, but the video is entitled The Employment. And you can watch it on YouTube. It's a video for reflecting about one's job, right? I will give the students three more minutes and then we're going to discuss. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Fidel. We are, your classmates are watching a video on WhatsApp, okay? So go to your WhatsApp okay. and watch the video. The video ha, is uh, uh, five or six minutes, okay? Es un video algo larguito, vea, pero vale la pena verlo. Así que le vamos a dar ahí el espacio para que lo vea. Then we're going to discuss some questions. Okay, after they watch the video, we are going to, to, to well, I am going to, to show them some new vocabulary, some vocabulary that has to do with today's session and also... Sí, teacher, perdón. Yes. Eh, es que no sé si estamos viendo el video o usted nos está explicando algo. No, le estoy hablando, verdad, así como en general. Cuando yo les mande ahí un mensaje de WhatsApp, por favor, vengan para acá. Ahí se vienen para acá. Uh, okay. Don't worry, don't okay, worry. Ok, ok, ok. Gracias. Ok, so this is the thing I am talking to them, but I'm not talking to them. Eh, I'm talking to you, right? Some of the students that might be watching the video right now or my supervisors. Okay, because right now they are watching a video and as you know, uh, the video is a little long, but is a totally worthy watching video for the reflection that we are going to have in a bit, right? And right now I'm, I am just giving you the, like the agenda that we have planned for today, for today's session. As I was telling you, they are going to watch a video, right? And we are going to discuss these two questions how do you treat your coworkers? How do you feel in your job? And after that, I am going to give them and provide them with some useful vocabulary that has to do with the presentation or the session that we are going to have today. Uh, this vocabulary, as you can see, we have, I hope so, not that I know, I think so, groceries, and we have some illustrative pictures for them to see what are groceries, if they don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, right? Uh, cost, pick up, never mind, right? And then we continue with the topic. We introduce the, to we introduce the topic with two questions that are in the manual, right? Uh, they are on page 31 page 31, then we are going to practice some conversation that is, is it is also on the manual and it is on page 31 as well. After that, I am going to have students work in pairs, practice or role play the conversation in the breakup rooms and uh, they are going to answer some questions that as you might know, they are in the manual as well but they have to make other two questions about the conversation for their classmates. They are going to ask these questions in the whole session, right? First, they are going to practice the conversation in the breakup rooms in pairs, and they are going to write this, this, uh, this, um, these questions, right? And then they are going to 
write down two more questions for their classmates to answer those two questions. Uh, after that, we have a listening, a listening activity. In this case, this audio is from a link that it is provided in the manual. Uh, it is also on page 31 and the right from third parties. <clears throat> and here we have some questions about the audio, right? And then I am going to explain a little bit about the difference between the simple present and the present continuous. And then I am going to show them a Word doc, including some of the, the uses for the simple present. Uh, and there we have it. And we are, I am going to show some examples that are on the word doc. All right, uh, present continuous, right? I'm going to explain that. But before doing that, I think it's time. So I'm going to call the students back to the session. Let me ask if they finish first. If not, if they haven't finished, I will give them an extra minute because I need them all to watch the complete video, okay? So let me, okay, students, did you finish watching the video, okay? Oh, wow, me tiene muteado. In that case, I am going to ask them in the WhatsApp, okay? Excuse me. Okay, students, can you hear me? Hello. Necesito que me confirmen, verdad, si ya terminaron de ver el, el video y, y que me desmute, que me... Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien más? Necesito saber que todos ya terminaron. Levanten ahí la manita ¿verdad? con el con el icono. Y este, Sher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The chat. Finish. Okay, veo que hay algunas manitas levantadas. I watch the video. Okay, did you finish watching the video? Okay, excellent. Okay, welcome back. Right now, we are going to discuss two questions about the video. As you see, the video is a little... Mm, disturbing all right and unique actually okay now i don't know if you have did you have seen the video before and you have visto antes or is, uh, or is it your first time no? first time first time okay excellent first time i don't understand <laughs> you don't understand okay we are going to discuss that in a second, Mister. Don't worry. Okay, uh, for the for the students who just joined the session today, we are going to talk about uh, this topic. Good morning, and we are going to discuss the difference between simple present and present continuous. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with the questions. These are the two questions about the video. For example, the first one. How do you treat? Va, permitan un momento porque siento que en cualquier en cualquier momentito se me sale un gallo, así que voy a tomar un poquito de agua porque siento como que la garganta un poquito rara. <coughs> okay, sorry. Okay, anyone can answer this question. How do you treat your coworkers? Uh, for example. Karina, how do you treat your co-workers? Um, I think I treat okay. Good. I am a friendly person. You are friendly with them? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mayra, Melanie, how do you treat your co-workers? We treat very good. You treat yourself well? Very well. Okay. Now, before going to the second question, okay, 
how do they treat the co the coworkers in the video? Ajá. Si no saben cómo decirlo en English, you can tell me, eh, teacher, how do you do I say that? Y si quieren todo lo que van a decir y les digo cómo se dice. Ok. La, la, les estoy preguntando ¿verdad? cómo se tratan en el video, ¿verdad? cómo se tratan entre ellos los coworkers y pues a otras personas que desempeñan otros trabajos. ¿Cómo se tratan? ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se tratan entre ellos? O sea, ok. They treat each, each, se escribe each other, ok. Each other like objects. Right? Ok, eh, no, bueno, ya respondió eh, ahí Estela, eh, prácticamente eso es lo que muestra el video, ¿verdad? How we sometimes, ok, sometimes lose our humanity when we work, ok, right? ¿Se entendió lo que dije? Yes, ok. How do you feel in your job, ok? How do other people Treat you. ¿Cómo los tratan a ustedes en su trabajo? Por ejemplo, digamos, son ustedes los encargados de, no sé, digamos, por ejemplo, no sé cómo, no sé, no se ocurre ningún ejemplo. Pero bueno, ok, going back to the question. How do they treat you in your job? ¿Cómo los tratan a ustedes, jóvenes? Y adultos también. Haflor, how do they treat uh, you in your job? My boss and my team, mm -hmm. they are treat me really, really good. Uh, sorry, who was that? Karina. Ah, okay, Karina. Okay, that's good. That's in, good. That in they my treat case. you good, right? Okay, sorry, alguien más ahí interrumpió. Yes. Hello. Bueno, okay, going back to Flor. Flor, please answer my question. How do they treat you in your job? Excellent. Excellent. Eh, good. Okay, es bueno ver que los traten así, no que los traten solo como objetos, vea. O sea, a veces así llegan a ser algunas personas, vea, también están esos la prepotencia y todas esas cuestiones. ¿no? Espero no les no los traten así a ustedes. Y si no, pues ay, vean ustedes cómo usen algo de ayuda, porque eso no está bien. Ok, let's go back to the topic, people. Now, let's start with some vocabulary that might be interesting for you. Fíjense que yo utilizo mucho esa expresión, así que es bueno que la sepan. Yo utilizo mucho esta palabrita, miren. Might. Uy. ¿Saben qué es might? No, para que no anden perdidos cuando la digo, porque la digo mucho. ¿Vea? Y yo a veces les digo así, ve. You might find it interesting, ¿verdad? Les digo a veces. Or o también a veces les digo useful, ¿verdad? Might es un verbo especial, ¿verdad? Y es un verbo que se llama, eh, ¿cómo se llaman estos verbos? Verbos modales en español, pero en in, in English they are called modal verbs, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, o sea, son verbos especiales que modifican otros verbos, por eso se llaman verbos modales. Porque miren, tenemos a might, ¿verdad? Y a find, miren, find es el verbo principal aquí. ¿Ok? O sea, que yo aquí les digo, you might find it interesting. Estoy diciendo, ustedes podrían encontrarlo interesante o útil, ¿verdad? Eso significa might, podría. ¿Ok? Podría de posibilidad, no podría de habilidad. ¿Ok? Bueno, solo para que lo sepan, ¿verdad? Para que no anden perdidos ahí cuando les esté Diciendo eso. Ok, now let's go back to the vocabulary that, that I want you to learn today. Ok, this vocabulary might be useful for you. Ok, and we are going to start with this expression. I hope so. 
I hope so, ¿verdad? Es como, in Spanish, it's like, eso espero, ¿verdad? Espero. Por ejemplo, le dice, eh, ok, good luck in your new interview. I hope you get the job, right? Y ustedes le dicen, I hope so. Es como, eso espero, ¿verdad? Next, not that I know. Not that I know. Es como, ¿verdad? Como, no que yo sepa, ¿verdad? Así se traduce eso. Not that I know. Right? Next, I think so. ¿Han visto el anuncio de Open English? I don't think so. Ah, pues de ahí, ¿verdad? Solo que lo he puesto. I think so es, eso creo, ¿verdad? O supongo, ¿ok? También se podría decir como supongo. Eso creo, ¿verdad? Eso significa. Groceries. Do you know what are the groceries? No son groserías, ¿ok? Groceries are these, ¿ok? When you go to the supermarket, and you buy tomatoes, eh, apple, eggs, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Those are the groceries. ¿Ok? Están viendo la presentation, ¿verdad? Ahí estoy mostrando, mostrando una imagen ilustrativa para groceries. ¿Ok? Eh, upstairs and downstairs. ¿Ok? Upstairs, vea. And downstairs. ¿Ok? Estas palabras, la verdad, en español no sabría cómo decirlas así. Es como el piso de arriba y el piso de abajo. ¿Vea? O sea, el primer piso y segundo piso. Porque, ¿cómo lo diría? Escalera abajo, escalera arriba. ¿Vea? Que no tiene mucho sentido en español. ¿Verdad? Pero cuando dicen, vea, por ejemplo, digamos su casa es de dos plantas. ¿Ok? Y, por ejemplo, su mamá está en la planta de arriba. ¿Ok? Entonces usted dice, my mom is upstairs. ¿Ok? Upstairs es, vea, que está en el piso de arriba. O literalmente, vea, escaleras arriba. Así, así se traduciría esto literalmente, ¿ok? Bueno, upstairs and downstairs. ¿Ok? Por si quieren practicar ahí la pronunciación. Eh, vale, cause. Cause, tal vez ya sabrán, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es esto, verdad? Es una contracción de, de la... de la word because... Cause, vea, como se escribe. Because. Escucho a varios de ustedes que lo dicen because también. La verdad, mmm, no les aseguraría que esa pronunciación es incorrecta en su totalidad, pero, pero tampoco les puedo decir que, que de las dos, vea. Lo que yo sí sé es que a mí me lo enseñaron como because. Y tal vez si lo van a poner al Google eh, Translate, tal vez les diga because también. ¿Ok? Pero es because, ¿verdad? Solo que le quitamos el be. Eh, a veces se utiliza este apóstrofe aquí para indicar que las palabras están cortadas, ¿ok? A veces no, ¿verdad? Pero obviamente esto es informal, ¿verdad? Si van a hablar con algún ejecutivo o, o algún superior, ¿verdad? Supervisor, pues no vayan a hablar así, ¿ok? Porque es como si dijeran, ¿verdad? En español, ¿verdad? Voy para afuera, para afuera, ¿verdad? No, no van a hablar así, ¿verdad? Esto solo les digo que, que, que es, vea, para que lo sepan, ¿verdad? Pero no para que lo utilicen con personas en un contexto, ¿verdad? Informal, ¿sí? Va, ok. Let's move on. I have more vocabulary today. Ok. Pick up. Pick up, ¿verdad? Como ya sabrán, ¿verdad? Es un tipo de carro, pero también, ¿verdad? Es pick up. Por ejemplo, digamos, digamos que mi mano es una mesa. Okay. Mi mano es una mesa, está viendo mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Ok, mi mano es una mesa. Entonces, pick up es esto, miren. Levantar. Levantar, ¿verdad? Algo. Pero también, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, digamos, su hermano, ¿verdad? Este, digamos, ah, ah, vino de viaje y está en el aeropuerto, ¿ok? Entonces, yo le llamo a mi hermano y le digo, hey, ok, I will, I will pick you up, ¿ok? At 7 a.m. ¿Ok? ¿Se fijan? Regret, regret it, ¿ok? And you say, never mind, ¿ok? Never mind es como, forget it, ¿ok? Forget it, ¿verdad? Es como están diciendo algo, pero se arrepintieron de decirlo, o ya de por sí, ¿verdad? La persona no entiende y ustedes dicen, never mind. Es como, for... Lo piense o olvídalo. Ajá, olvídalo. Forget it, ¿verdad? Forget all about it. Ya, es lo mismo, ¿ok? 
Never mind, ¿verdad? I hope so, not, not, not that I know. I think so, groceries upstairs, downstairs, cost, pick up, and never. Okay. There we go with today's vocabulary. Let's move on. Let's move on, I said, computer. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, we are going to start with these two questions about the topic, of course. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Number two, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Era la primera está preguntando quién es la primera persona que llega a su trabajo y la segunda qué es lo primerito primerito que hacen al llegar a su trabajo. Ok, le voy a preguntar a alguien, vamos a ver. Ok, let's see. Ok, for example, can, can someone ask me, ok, the first question. Please ask me the, the first question. Ok. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Me, you are looking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not me. Ok, the first person to arrive at my workplace is the janitor. Mm. The janitor, do you know what is a janitor? Yes. Janitor, uh, uh, does anybody know what is a janitor? Is the person who does the cleaning, right? The cleaning, mm -hmm. the mopping, right? Cleaning the windows, ordering the desk, okay? The janitor, that is the janitor, yeah? El ordenanza. Sí, el ordenanza o el intendente. Okay. Conserve. Conserve también, ¿verdad? Wow, cuánta forma de, de decirle. Ok, now, eh, Karina, please ask someone else. You can say the name of that Mayra. person. Right? Ok, Mayra, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? The first person to arrive at my work is the secretary. Ok. Now, Mayra, continue with the question to someone else. Okay, Carla, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? The first person to arrive at my office is the, the janitor. Too. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, Carla, to someone else. Ask someone else. Uh, Raquelita, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, the third person to arrive is a policeman. A policeman, okay. One more, please. Do one more, one more student. Okay. Um, um, Stella. Yes. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Um, the first person to arrive uh, at my workplace uh, are the um, sales sales um, person. Sales person. Sales. Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Maria. Now, Maria, please. Ask me the second question. What is the first? What, thing? what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, the first thing that I do when I get to my workplace. Well, I think the first thing is I go get the keys for the classroom. The keys? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, but there was a... Uh, okay, the keys and the, um, the, um, the, the remote for the projector and the AC, the air conditioner, right? For the classroom. Okay, now mm -hmm. I am going to continue. Carla Vasquez, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, los uh... demás comiencen a pensar cómo decirlo en inglés, ¿verdad? <laughs> The first 
the first thing I do is drink a coffee. <laughs> drink a coffee. Okay. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Continue. Um, Mayra, what is the first thing do you when you get to your workplace? The first thing I do when I go to my workplace is wash my hands. Okay, continue, Mayra. Okay, uh, Darwin, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay. The first thing. I do when I get to my workplace, I am eat the breakfast in the capital. <laughs> <laughs> it's your breakfast. Uh -huh. Okay, good, Darwin. Continue to someone else. Uh, Nelson Edgardo, what is the first thing you do when to get to your workplace? Is Nelson here? No question? No, I think he's not here, mister. Then as, uh, uh, as Flor. Flor. Flor, what is the first thing to do when you get to your workplace? The first thing I they check my email. Okay, Flor, please ask someone that hasn't participated. It can be Fatima or Fidel, Delmis, Vanessa, and Ophelia. Where is Ophelia? Ah, and Ophelia. Alguno de ellos, please. Okay, Fidel. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay. The first thing I do at my workplace is turn on the computer. Turn on the computer. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now let's move on to the next activity. And as you can see, it is a conversation. Now I will need the help of right. Annabel. Annabel and let's see, Raquel. Annabel and Raquel. Okay. Annabel, you are going to be Ryan, and Raquel, you are going to be Raul. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you see that conversation? Yes. Hello, Annabel. Can you start? Yes, I see the conversation, but I have a little problem with my windows. Okay. Mm. Okay, remember that this conversation is in your manual, okay? In your in your book it is on page thirty one. I see now. I am Ryan. Yes. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually to get to your job, to your workplace? What? The first things you do. I usually arrive at 6 um, 30 a.m. And the first 
thing I do is to check my email. And you? That's it. Uh, well, I arrive at seven and a half. Ah, uh, okay. Well, no. Well, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on the traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Raquel and Delmis. Okay, people, now, what you are going to do is that you are going to do three activities, okay? Pay attention to the three activities that you are going to do. The first one, as always, is practice this conversation, okay? The second one, is that you are going to do this same conversation, but you are going to talk about the activities that you do in your workplace. But I need you to be more specific, like the time, okay? And try using an adverb of frequency, okay? Si se fijan, aquí hay un adverbio de frecuencia. Por ejemplo, digan, vea, I always arrive at 6 a.m. And blah, 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 blah. Es mentira, va, pero... Va a sonar bonito en la hora de la conversación. ¿Ok? And, but that is the second thing. And the third thing, ¿ok? There is an exercise, ¿ok? In your manual as well, is that you are going to work in pairs and you are going to answer the following questions. Number one and number two, ¿ok? And in pairs, ¿ok? you are going to write down two more questions, okay, about the conversations for your classmates, okay? But voy a repetir de nuevo las indicaciones en español para que no haya ninguna duda. Lo primero que van a hacer, eh, practicar la conversación. Segundo que van a hacer, practicar la conversación, pero utilizando su información. O sea, lo que ustedes hacen, lo primero que llegan al trabajo, siendo más específico, vea, utilizando horas, ¿ok? Y también utilicen, por favor, un adverbio de frecuencia, ¿verdad? Ya los recordarán, vea, always, usually, sometimes, never, and bla, bla, bla. Y la tercera cosa que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Siempre en los breakup rooms, en parejas, ¿ok? Va a ser responder estas preguntas, ¿ok? La 1 y la 2, porque si se fijarán, la 3 y la 4 no están porque ustedes la van a redactar, ¿verdad? Van a redactar dos preguntas extra acerca de la, de la conversación. Esas preguntas no las van a responder, solo que se la van a preguntar a sus compañeros cuando volvamos a la sesión donde estamos todos. Solo quiero que las preparen ahí en parejas. Respondan estas dos en parejas y preparen dos más. ¿Ok? Do you have any question? No? Okay. Let's go to the breakup rooms and work in pairs. Remember to practice the conversation and use your own information. Be specific, use adverbs of frequency and write down two questions. Just give me a second, okay? Estoy haciendo las parejas, pero veo que una va a quedar de tres. Bueno, uno va a quedar solito, así que me voy a trabajar con él o ella. Ok, there we go. Good luck. Ok, Karina Santos es hoy tu calor. Ok, people, join your room and work in pairs. Work with your partner. Okay, people, try to join your, your rooms, please. Okay, right now students are going to work in pairs, but uh, one student is alone, so I'm going to work with, with her. Hello, teacher. 
Okay, Karina, we are going to practice, okay? Because you are alone. Okay. All right, just give me a second. No I need to see something. Okay. Just let me see. It's okay. It's like I'm at private session. <laughs> yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Karina, uh, do you have your, well, if you don't have your, yes. your money. No, I have my menu, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, who do you want to be? I want to be Ryan. All right. Let's try to read this conversation with a correct intonation, right, in the questions. Okay. I try. All right. I will try. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? <laughs> good afternoon, Ryan. Uh, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is their team doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to the, your workplace? What is the first thing do you do? What you do? Uh, I usually arrive at 7.30 a.m. Uh, and the first thing I do is check my email. Uh, because as you know, it is important to check if the boss assigned something new and blah, blah, blah. And you? Yes. Um, well, I arrive at... 6.30 or 7 o'clock. It depends on the, my class of the gym. And my first activity is to check my, to check or write my to-do list. All right. Okay, now let's talk about the things that you first do when you arrive to your job, okay? Well, actually, we just mentioned a few, but Let's mention some more. Okay. For example, let's talk about tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow it's Wednesday, as you know, but what is the first thing that you are going to do tomorrow? Okay, uh, really, uh, uh, I always, in mm -hmm. the morning, all the days of the week, I check my to-do list mm -hmm. or write my to-do list for the day, for all days. And then I check my, I usually check my emails and sometimes answer some emails. Hey, can you give me an example, uh, like the tasks that you usually do in your to-do list? Okay, I always, uh, the, I always write the close the non-confirming, non-confirming for the external audits or internal audits for my for my job position. And mm -hmm. then I all uh, check the tasks of the food safety teams. The what, sorry? Food safety teams. All right. I am in charge for these people, the food safety team. Also, and you are like their boss or supervisor? I am a coordinator, like a supervisor, mm -hmm. but I am in sure, oh no, I, uh, my position is food safety, food safety and sanitation coordinator. Mm -hmm. I perform the valid, cleaning validations and I am in sure about the cleaning of the all the company, the equipment and uh, I, Sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, but do you work like in a in a factory or something like that? Yes, oh. I work for McCormick. Ah, uh, and you yes. you are like uh, okay. That's... I am an, I am an especially for the sanitation uh -huh. and the in the food safety standards mm -hmm. certifications. Mm -hmm. I am insured for this. I am the 
represented and in, in what kind of McCormick. products do you see in that factory is like all the products about McCormick all the or... products all the products all the products the dry and wet McCormick produce mayonnaise Mm -hmm. Soch, spice, and I check all the products. This um my big or oh, important object is you eat a uh, foods eh, eh, no sé cómo es, alimentos seguros. Safe food. Safe food. Safe mm -hmm. food. Uh -huh. This is my and... uh, this is my principal responsible. Ah, okay. No, no problem with my micro, my or microorganisms. Microorganisms. Mm -hmm. and okay, and uh, for like example, that. are you in charge like in the quality control? Yes, uh -huh. I, I. I am part of the quality control, but I, uh, my co-worker is in charge about the quality and I about the food safety. And who is the one in charge of tasting the, the product before it goes to the public? You are not in charge uh, of... Is, uh, uh, no, no, no. No, but I, if the, the department in charge this, this responsibility inviting me ah, okay. and i taste the food <laughs> ah, okay very good wow well, you you actually have a, a nice job it's really interesting yes it's really interesting but it's a big responsibility yes me. i know because it's like imagine finding like a like a hair in the mayonnaise or something like that yes. it, it would be like a big problem for that for the company. Uh, yes. Yes. The, okay. Um, yes. Um, okay. Thank you very I'm much, sure Karina. <laughs> yes, You're actually, it, you, it is like a big responsibility that you have. Try to focus yes. always. And I try. That. That's why. That's why. Uh, in the morning, always I check and write my to the list because something something i forget mm, it's a yeah. big problem yes yes okay thank In you very my much case, okay mm -hmm. thank you no 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 continue sorry i thought you were going okay. to stop and uh, in in my position it's only me you are the and you are you are like the one in charge of everything that you just yes. told me uh-huh mm. yeah. and i am sure to the cleaning team and what do they do uh, the okay, cleaning the floor, the windows, and something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and they take into the account the, the new protocols for the virus and things like that. Yes. Okay. And okay. I am sure Just give me a second. I have something. Is like yes. a participant that is not assigned. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, so the first thing that you do when you get to work is doing your to-do list, right? Yes. And what about the second thing that you do? My second thing is check my emails and respond some, mm -hmm. uh, some of the emails, not all, but this is my second. And then, if, if, for example, in the Wednesday, I always, have a meeting with the food safety teams in the in the morning in the afternoon i always have a, have a meeting with the food safe food fraud team because i am in charge for that and the spice um, in my third team i guess is a supervise the the line, the production line, they are clean or they are in the, the, uh, they are, they are clean. Okay. Okay. And then I go to the, the, to my desk and I make some reports, uh, update the documents and I'm sure the document control. 
Okay. Okay, excellent. Actually, I have a lot of information now. I was like <laughs> really curious about your job when you said that, that you work for, for McCormick, right? Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much. I recommend uh, the product to McCormick. Yes, I I actually like their mayonnaise. is like really excellent. I use it for when I uh, cook some hamburgers. <laughs> yes, I prefer yes. I prefer yes. that mayonnaise. It's really good. I was sometimes I was trying a a mayonnaise that it was it wasn't McCormick, and then I tried McCormick and it was wow. The difference is really really big and i i start putting yeah. mccormick in my in my food or diet or diet mayonnaise as well also i buy a uh, for soy sauce mm -hmm. uh -huh, soy sauce and also black sauce i think is in english la salsa negra uh -huh. Worcestershire. sorry Westershire. Wester? Shire. How do you spell it? I don't, I don't think so. It's okay. Okay, but I will look it up later. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, let me check on your other classmates. If you want, you can go back to the main room because if not, you're going to be here by all by, you, by yourself. Okay, right? thank you. It's okay. okay, you're welcome, actually. Thank you for practicing. It is important, remember. Yes, thank you. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hello. Uh, what are you doing here, guys? Did you finish already? Sorry. Darwin? And Delmis? I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> we're alone. Why? Yeah. Wait. I don't know. Wait. Alone. Okay, Carla is also alone. Well, actually, Delmis, you were supposed to work with Darwin, and Darwin is here. Maybe that's why you were alone. Maybe he had some problem. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. But let's. Okay, I will give them more time to your classmates, but if you want, you can work with Karina. Karina it was alone as well, and I was working with her. So I'm going to check other, other pair of students, and if you want, you can work together. Remember that you have to write two more questions about the conversation. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, see you later. Okay. okay. Partner. Hello, Carla. <laughs> Hello, Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Okay, where is your, your classmate? Eh, Fátima, pero no pudo entrar. Mm. Tenía problemas. Ah, okay. Okay, tell me, Carla, what is the first thing you do when you get to your job? Eh, my first thing is check an email because all morning my email is full of requests, requests of in my emails. Mm -hmm. And what about the second thing? The second thing is a star, a star do the a star do each request. Uh, for example, um, uh, continue follow X uh, problem, uh, or for example. Continue follow uh, PO requests, uh, number payment requests, mm -hmm. or simple uh, do activity of maintenance of the office, mm -hmm. or receive document checks, invoice, um, contract, 
etc. And, All administrative. Uh -huh, I can see that. And for example, what time do you usually do these kind of activities? Uh, okay. I arrive to the office at 8.30. And my first activity, I start to nine, nine o'clock, for example, uh, when I have program uh, receive your, sorry, document. Your, and your chief starts at what time? Your chief. My chief, not here. He, she is at Costa Rica. No. Ok, chief es turno. Turno, ah, que ahora sorry, comienza sorry. su. Ajá. Pero también, sí, también es jefe, va, pero. Ah, yes. Uh, in theory, that age, uh, that in theory, between uh, eight to five. Mm -hmm. But regular, I start to eight thirty or nine, I finish to 11, 12. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, it depends the that activity. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you. I'm going to go back to the main room, okay? If you want, you can come with me because uh, it is time for uh, to check the, the activity, to see some of the Uh, answers of your classmates and you know the, the things that we check right uh, so go back to the main room see you later check and write to my to the list and my second thing always to check my emails mm -hmm. and The third thing is to uh, check the product, the production line. They are clean or they are work good, or the people work good and supervisor the. They use the correct uniforms for the day, and stacks like that, and and then, for example, Wednesday I always have meeting with the food safety teams. I am sure this this uh, the program task for this team. Yes, no. Everybody is yes, no. here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome class, class. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, good people. Thank you for coming back. Uh, okay, not all of you are here, but we are going to wait for some more. It's only, let me see. Oh no, everyone is here. All right, welcome back. I hope that you practice your English, that you practice the conversation, that you practice with your own information, and that you answer and write down the Uh, questions that I requested. Okay, let's uh, start with with one participation. Okay, uh, Vanessa Segura. Vanessa Segura, who was your partner? Darwin. Okay, Vanessa and Darwin. Permit uh, a moment. Darwin, are you there? Yes. Present. Okay, Mr. Okay, just let me take attendance before we, we start uh, participating. Okay. Es que aquí me aparece un Darwin también, pero no sé quién es. No sé, tal vez será algún supervisor. Bueno. Okay, es que se llama igual que usted, por eso es que no, no, no comprendo. ¿Verdad? Oh, sí. creo que porque ingresé desde la compu también. Ah, ya, pues eh, creo que se quedó duplicado. Bueno, no hay problema. Es que como tuvo problemas con uno, va, intentó con otro. Como de mil formas. Va, entonces lo que creo que voy a hacer... Ah, no, pero es que no puedo sacarlo. Porque me da... Permítame un momento. Eliminar. Se tiene que salir el de... 
Sí, es cierto, porque aquí me sale como que lo tengo que denunciar, pues no. <ríe> bueno, ahí se va a quedar. Ok. Darwin, Edgardo, Delmis, Duwin, eh, Fátima Rosario, eh, Fidel Coreas. Ok, tipo, le estoy tomando asistencia, ¿verdad? No escucho a nadie responder. Hello. Present. Present. Escuchar? Present. Present, teacher. Ok, ok. Eh, Fidel Coreas, eh, Flor de María. Present. Present, teacher. Irving José, Juan Josué Adán, eh, Juan Ernesto Felizari, Karina, Carla Here. Verónica, Present. María Estela, María Vanessa, Present. Mayra, Present. Present. Don Alfredo, Nelson Edgardo, Ofelia, Raquel Betsabe, Tatiana, Present. and Walter. Ok, good. Ok, Vanessa, who was your partner? Darwin. Ok, let's see. Uh, can you project the conversation, please? Ah, sure. Ok, but I need you to do it with your own information, ok? Ok. And also try to be specific. Permítanme un momento, creo que estoy compartiendo todos. Tiene que ser sobre la presentación. Okay. Este, be, be specific and also use adverbs of frequency. Ok. Go. Ok. Uh, good evening, Darwin. What are you doing right now? Good evening, Vanessa. Well, I check the report. And the morning. Oh, that's nice. Um, do you have some important thing to do today? It's no more important. It's more important attend the meeting. I see. Um, what time do you usually get get to your workplace, and what's the first thing you do? I sometimes. I write uh, a I am and the first thing I do is check my email and you well um I arrive around six or six thirty a.m. It depends on traffic and the first thing uh, that I do is check the lines production and talk with my employees. It's all. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Vanessa and Darwin. Now, let's go with the questions, okay? Well, now we are going to have one more participation from your classmates, but remember to use your own information, adverse of frequency, and be specific, okay? Let's see, Mayra, Mayra, who was your partner? Flor de María. Ok, Mayra en Flor. Voy a iniciar. Good morning, Flor. What are you doing right now? Hmm? Flor. Hello, Flor. Are you there? Excuse me. Good morning, Mayra. Well, I am planning a, a graduation. Oh, and graduation is from high school? Is here in San Salvador? No, it isn't. The graduation oh. is for the technical training. I see. What time do you usually get your workplace? And what's the first thing you do? I always arrive at 7.30 a.m. And, uh, and the first thing I do is turn on the air uh, condi condi condition. 
conditioner in my office. Uh, they check my emails and I drink a coffee cup. And you? Well, I usually arrive at 8 a.m. and my first activity is, is wash my hands and then turn on my computer. Well, it's all. Okay, thank you very much, Flor and Mayra. Now, just a little parenthesis. Eh, vaya, con respecto a la sesión privada de hoy, ¿verdad? le toca a Josué Adán, pero él no se encuentra hoy, ¿verdad? porque ahí en el chat parece que estaba manifestando que tiene problemas con cuestiones de inscripción, creo que son. Vaya, entonces, vea el espacio queda libre, solo que si usted quiere ¿verdad? tomar ese espacio, ¿verdad?, Voy a necesitar de que lo pida en el chat, ¿ok? En el chat de esta videoconferencia. El primero que lo haga, pues, él, él va a tener la oportunidad. Eso sí, creo que sí puede ser alguien que ya estuvo antes también, ¿verdad? No hay problema porque como, como es un participante que no va a poder estar, ¿verdad? Así que está ahí el espacio. Si usted lo quiere aprovechar, pues, póngalo en el chat, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues, pues... Bueno, espere su turno, no hay problema. But, okay, let's move on. Now, with the two questions, okay? Uh, for example, let me ask someone. Fidel, Fidel, who gets earlier at the workplace? Fidel? Hi. Uh -huh. Who gets... Get early at the workplace. What is the meaning earlier? Más temprano. Va, es que early, verdad, sin el IER, ok, es temprano. Pero ya cuando termina así con earlier, ok, es más temprano. Who gets earlier at the workplace? O sea, se está refiriendo, verdad, a Ryan en, en Paul. En Raúl, sorry. Okay. Who gets early? ¿Quién llega más temprano de estos dos individuos? Mm -hmm. According to them. He is Raúl. Raúl, right. Okay, thank you very much. Now, a second question goes to... Let me see. Fátima. Fátima, are you there? Hello, Fatima. Fatima was a problem teacher with the connection. Ah, okay. So then let's ask Ophelia. Ophelia, what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Conversación en su manual, page 31. Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Y Ophelia? Yo le digo, teacher. Ok, ok. Ay, Maura, conference Yes. Mm -hmm. Alguien me le puede ayudar a Ofelia, por favor. What is I the... don't see the topic. <laughs> okay, so you will answer. It doesn't mention the topic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, what about the other questions that you wrote? Ok, va. Si las escribieron, les voy a pedir que me las escriban en el chat, por favor. ¿Verdad? Solo un miembro de la pareja. 
Okay. Solo un miembro, ¿verdad? Vale. Ok. Vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Vamos a comenzar con... Let me see. Ok. Delmis. Delmis. One question for your classmates. Pregúntenla en general, ¿verdad? Y tal vez alguien se la responda. What does Raúl usually do when he arrives to his work? Okay, please ask again. What does Raúl usually do when he arrives to his work? Anyone can answer that question? What? Raúl check. His email. Is that correct, Annabel? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Karina, another question for your classmates. Karina? I need to write the... the... No, you question can just the ask the, the question, but it has to be about the conversation. Ah, okay. Um, uh, um, what are you doing the, no, what does Ryan doing right now? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Sorry, can you can you say the question again? What is what is Ryan doing right now? Uh -huh. What is Ryan doing right now, people? Anyone can answer that question? No. Come on, do it. He's, uh, he's planning a video conference. Okay, he's planning a video conference. Very good. Okay, uh, another question from Fidel. Fidel. ¿Qué pregunta redactó para sus compañeros, mister? Eh... Hey. I work. I am my co-worker. Work and the conversation. I don't. Ah, okay. I not, uh, <laughs> no, no, hicimos una pregunta. Okay, Mister, you were supposed to do two questions. Okay, to write down two questions. Okay, but I will let it pass. Uh, Vanessa Segura. One question for your classmates. Sorry. Okay. Uh, where the conference is? Uh huh. Sorry again. Where the conference is? Uh huh. We will. In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. In San Salvador. Okay. Very nice. Now we yes. will. let's. <laughs> Let's move on, okay? Now, uh, in the group, okay, I am going to send you a link for an audio, okay? You are going to listen to this audio and you are going to answer some questions. So, please listen to your audio. Recuerden, verdad, siempre mutearse cuando escuchen audios que les mande, verdad, eh, por el grupo de WhatsApp. Va, en estos momentos les estaría cayendo el link. Este, las disculpas del caso, ¿verdad? A veces no estoy viendo el WhatsApp y, y no les veo, ¿verdad? Los mensajes de que me están mandando ahí, ¿verdad? Hasta que les digo, pues sí va. Ni modo que esté aquí en media conferencia, ahora viendo mi teléfono. ¿Verdad? Así que ahí por si me consultan algo en ese momento en el WhatsApp, pues es por, probable que me demore, ¿verdad? O que tal vez no les responda. 
¿verdad? Más si son cosas que no me competen, ¿verdad? Recuerden que yo no puedo otorgar permisos, ¿verdad? Ni excepciones, yo solo puedo reportar, ¿verdad? Si ustedes me dicen que tienen problema, solo hay el recordatorio. Ok, listen to this audio. Eh, the link of this audio is also in your manual, ok? Este audio está tomado de un link que aparece en el manual. ¿Ya? Yeah. But I send you the link to your WhatsApp for practicity, right? You just tap on the link and you can listen to the conversation. Actually, it's a video, but I am more interested that you listen, okay? Por favor, no vayan a ver los, los transcripts, ¿verdad? O los scripts del audio antes. Primero escúchenlo así sin estar viendo nada, ¿ok? No vayan a hacer trampa. Ok, right now students are listening to an audio. That is in the manual. I will give them... One minute, the audio is like one minute and something. Okay, when you finish, just raise your hand. Like with a, with a, with Zoom, right? With Zoom, not in your camera. <laughs> Let me check if I am recording, and indeed I am. Okay, people, did you finish? Did you finish, students, participants? Did you finish, students? Okay, let me ask them in the chat. Maybe they mute me. Hello, are you done? Okay. Okay, students, if you finish, I need you to be here with me. All right. Eh, Todos me pueden escuchar. Hello. Hi. Good. Okay, people. Now, let's answer the following questions, okay? Uh, look at my presentation, at my PowerPoint presentation, okay? The first question that we have is for Maria Estela. Maria Estela, what is his mom doing? Pueden ver la, la imagen, ¿verdad? Para que nos ayude a recordar un poco. His mom to uh -huh. do it at the mall. She is shopping. She is shopping. She's shopping. Shopping for what? For grocery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For grocery. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, María Estela. María Estela, can you ask that, this question to another student? Ok. Eh... La puede ver acá, okay. number two. And here is the dad, right? Um, Carla. Mm -hmm. Carla, 
Uh, where is uh, his his brother? No, no. Look, look. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. What he is that doing? Uh -huh. Carla. Uh, his dad. His dad is is country club. Uh, he's playing golf. Okay, thank you very much. Carla asks other student this question. Um, uh, okay, permite un momento. Uh, uh, Hay un errorcito okay. ahí. Que no quiero dejarlo pasar. Ya está corregido. Permítame. Ok. Eh, uh -huh. eh, Karina. Karina. Yes. Ok. Ok. What are his brother and, and sister doing? He is playing video game and her sister, and his sister or her sister, she had the school. Doing what? Uh, soccer, playing soccer. Okay, She's thank you very soccer. much. Thank you very much, Karina. Now, okay, eh, no sé si ya cerraron la ventana que abrieron, ¿verdad? El audio. Vaya. En la ventana del audio aparece un pequeño quiz, ¿ok? Eh, por favor, voy a requerir que lo realicen, ¿verdad? Y igual que la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Me mandan el screenshot de su puntuación to that WhatsApp group, okay? I will appreciate that. Please answer the quiz. The quiz in the, for the conversation or the video that you just watched. Remember to send a screenshot with your score to the group. A veces cuando se quedan mucho tiempo quietos, pienso que se les ha ido el internet. Pero creo que solo es que están concentrados trabajando. Ok. Un WhatsApp group, really. Sorry, Mayra. En WhatsApp. ¿Cómo? No, no le. I, I don't understand. Eh, Lo ponemos la captura en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, please. Your, your score. Ok. I will check the WhatsApp to see if some of you finished. Okay, thank you very much, Karina. No veo esa opción del quiz. You're welcome. Excellent job, Karina. Perfect score. Excellent job. Eh, Carla. Oh, okay, sorry. Me hablaba Mr. Fidel. Yes, no, no, no me aparece la opción para el quiz. Qué extraño. Es que vaya, si se mete al quiz, ¿verdad? Perdón, a la conversación, ¿verdad? Le aparece la primera como pestañita, ¿verdad? Dice script, ¿ok? La segunda dice grammar y la última dice quiz. En la última tendría que meterse. ¿Ya la encontró? Vanessa Segura, thank you very much. Perfect score. Good. Eh, Flor Carballo, excellent job, perfect score. Annabel Pex, perfect score. I wasn't expecting less from you, Miss. Eh, Mayra, excellent. Eh, thank you, Maria Estela, for your screenshot. Anthony Alejandro. ¿Quién es Anthony Alejandro? Bueno, es que en el grupo de WhatsApp así me lo mando. Ok, pero pero no me parece que ha respondido nada, Anthony. Ok. Eh, vaya. Después de que hagan el, el quiz, ¿verdad? Recuerden de, de darle a check answers para que les dé su, su puntaje. Ok. Porque si no, ¿verdad? Solo les va a parecer que lo han respondido, pero que no les da el puntaje. Ok, Estela, thank you very much. Ok, good. Thank you for your participation. Remember that these are exercises to practice your listening skill, okay? 
que la habilidad de listening, ¿verdad? A veces es un poco difícil, difícil de, de, ¿cómo se dice? De, de, ay, ¿cómo se dice? de desarrollarla, ¿ok? Ok, now, let's talk about the grammar part of this topic, people. Please, I need you to pay close attention because this topic might be a little confusing, ¿ok? But I think it's going to be easy for you to, to spot the differences. Do you know what is a spot? Spot es como identificar verdad, las the differences, ¿ok? Now, we have the simple present, ¿ok? Something that we already started, and we have the present continuous. Just let me check the time. Ok, now, let's talk about the simple present first, ¿ok? And let me show you that when you are going to use the simple present, ¿ok? But, el día de ayer, ¿verdad? En una, en una conferencia privada, ¿verdad? Eh, me manifestaba, ¿verdad? Eh, Flor, ¿verdad? Que le confundía un poquito el presente continuo porque se utilizaba para hablar de actividades futuras, siendo que se llama presente continuo, ¿verdad? Porque en español pues no lo utilizamos para hablar de actividades futuras, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque el presente, su misma palabra, su misma su mismo nombre lo dice, vea, presente continuo, porque se utiliza para hablar en el futuro. Bueno, así, así es el inglés. Ok, es una estructura que se utiliza en inglés y así funciona, ¿verdad? Pero eh, aquí vamos a ver un poquito de las diferencias para que eso quede un poquito más claro, ¿verdad? Y para que no nos confundamos, vea, de si utilizar el presente simple o el presente continuo, ¿ok? Now, eh, esto no, bueno, sí van a encontrarlo en sus, en sus, en sus manuales, ¿verdad? pero yo hice un, otra investigación aparte, ¿ok? Para ponerles ¿verdad? un poquito más, ¿verdad? Para que no se queden solo con lo que aparece en el manual. ¿Ok? The simple present is used to talk about habits, ¿ok? We use it for talking about habits. Also, we use it to talk about repeated actions or events. Or in other words, routines, ok, lo utilizamos para hablar de rutinas, ¿verdad? Also, for general trust, ok, that's a difficult word for us to say, ok, for instructions or directions. In the last one, for fixed arrangements, ok, en esas one, two, three, four, five, en those five situations lo vamos a utilizar. Si gustan, vea, esto sí lo pueden anotar, porque esto, no, como les digo, no está en el manual, o le pueden tomar ahí, vea, un screenshot. Ok, if you want. ¿verdad? Pero les voy a enseñar también otro documento para ampliar esto con ejemplos. Ok, eh, estos ejemplos, vea, no me dio tiempo de ilustrarlos, la verdad, me, a mí siempre me gusta ilustrar los ejemplos, vea, con algunos, con algunos efectos, vea, o, o algunas, ¿cómo se le llama a estas? Eh, transición en verdad y efectos, pero no me dio tiempo. Así que vamos a hacer la antigüita, mostrando un documento Word. Permítanme un momento. Me dicen si pueden visualizar this Word document. Can you see it? Yes. ¿Pueden ver el documento Word que estoy proyectando en este momento? Sí, yes, yes. Ok. Yes. Bueno, aquí el pequeño resumen, verá Para qué se utiliza el presente continuo. Ok. Y aquí la estructura, de Que el verbo se utiliza en su forma base, que la tercera persona toma la S, ¿verdad? Bla, bla, bla. Ok. Pero a mí lo que me interesa son los ejemplos. Vale, tenemos, miren. Permítanme un momento. Vale. Aquí, ¿verdad? Este, está, ¿verdad? To express habits, general truths and wishes, bla, bla, bla. Aquí está en general todo lo que estaba diciendo, pero lo que me interesa es esto de acá. Va, vale, miren. When we are talking about the present simple for habits, ok, déjenme zoom in this. Para los compañeritos, vea que usamos lentes. Esto nos viene súper bien. <ríe> ok. Now. For habits, we use it for habits. Miren aquí, vea. He drinks tea at breakfast. Ok. She only eats fish. They watch television regularly. Ok. Otra cosa que no mencioné, ¿verdad? Es que 
casi siempre con el presente eh, simple, ¿verdad? Utilizamos los adverse of frequency, ¿ok? ¿verdad? Esa es una diferencia entre el presente simple y el presente continuo. ¿verdad? En el presente continuo no utilizamos estos adverse of frequency. No van a decir algo como de I am usually writing a letter, ¿verdad? Se oye raro, o sea, incluso en español. ¿verdad? Yo usualmente estoy escribiendo una carta, ¿verdad? Que se escucha un poco extraño. ¿ya? Así que ojo ahí con los adverse of frequency. Vale. El segundo uso que les había mostrado en la primera, ¿verdad? Miren. For repeated actions or events, ¿ok? Or in other words, routines. Miren, we catch the bus every morning. That might be a routine, right? Adverb of frequency, miren aquí, ¿eh? Miren aquí hay otro, ¿ok? It rains every afternoon in hot... Espérenme que aquí me tapo un poquito la pantalla de ustedes. Déjenme la muevo. Déjenme, la muevo, dije. Ok, no me deja. Ok, voy ahora sí. Ok, it rains every afternoon in the hot season. Miren, every. Ok, they drive to Monaco every summer. Miren, otro adverb of frequency. Ok, vale. Este es el segundo ejemplo. ¿verdad? For repeated actions or events. Next, for general trust. Ok, general trust. Son como verdades generales, o sea, cosas de conocimiento general. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, nosotros ya sabemos que el agua se congela cuando baja de, de, de cero grados, de agua a cero grados. Entonces, aquí el ejemplo, miren, water freezes, freezes es congelar. Water freezes at zero degrees. En degrees, bueno, ya sabrán por intuición que es degrees. Bueno, tenemos aquí otro, miren, the earth revolves around the sun. Okay. And her mother is Peruvian. Okay. Vamos con el uno, dos, tres, con el tercer uso, ¿verdad? Vamos con los ejemplos del cuarto uso, que es for instructions or directions. Okay. ¿Cómo habrán notado ustedes, verdad? Si alguna vez han leído o han visto alguna receta para cocinar, ¿verdad? O algún video, ¿verdad? Siempre las instrucciones están en presente, ¿ok? Porque para dar instrucciones sobre cualquier cosa se utiliza el presente, ¿ok? El presente simple, ¿verdad? Ojo ahí. Y miren, aquí tenemos una instrucción, ¿verdad? Permítanme, voy a alejar un poquito para que se vea todo. Sí, ¿verdad? Se puede visualizar. Perfecto. Ay, permítanme abrir algo que no tenía que abrir. Permítame, sorry. Bueno, espero no se me trabe la computadora. But, ok, we are here right now. For instructions and directions. Miren, and here we have an instruction. Eh, Karina, can you read it, please? Ok. Open the packet and pour the contents into hot water. Okay, you you. take Ajá, continue. Okay. Continue. you take the number six bus to Watney, mm -hmm. and then the number ten to instructions, right? Instruction. Yes, and in the second, son como agenda o o planes, okay? Son como planes. For example, eh, María Estela. Yes. His mother arrives tomorrow or holiday start on the 20, 26, 26 March. Okay, thank you very much. Fix arrangement, ¿verdad? And the last one, with future constructions, okay? Miren, he'll see you before she leaves, ¿verdad? O sea, no nos estamos enfocando en esto, ¿verdad? Ok, nos estamos enfocando en esto, miren, ¿verdad? Literalmente esta oración se traduciría como, ella te verá antes que se vaya, ¿verdad? O que se marche, ¿verdad? Y miren aquí, eh, we'll give it to her when she arrives, o sea, se lo entregaremos cuando ella llegue, 
¿verdad? Oigan, ese ella llegue está en presente, ¿verdad? Ella se marche también está. O sea, esto, ¿verdad? Casi, esto siempre, miren, la clave para utilizar aquí el presente, ¿verdad? Es que siempre van a haber palabritas como esta, ¿verdad? Before, when, ¿verdad? Aquí arriba están las otras. Déjenme se las muestro. Miren aquí, esta, miren. To express future time after some conjunctions. Las conjunctions son estas, ¿verdad? Son after, when, before, as soon as, until, y hay muchas más. Pero aquí están las más comunes. Y aquí el ejemplo, miren. I, he'll give it to you when, miren, aquí está la conjunction, you come, miren, y you come está en presente, next Saturday. Pero esto está hablando de futuro, ¿verdad? Hay un poquito complejo, ¿verdad? Pero se los muestro yo para que lo sepan, ¿verdad? No significa que lo van a utilizar como que muy seguidito, ¿verdad? Pero si lo ven, ¿verdad? Ya saben qué es, ¿ok? Para que no se queden perdidos, ¿verdad? Porque tal vez dirán ustedes, pero ¿por qué está utilizando el, el presente simple aquí si está hablando en futuro, verdad? O sea, de ahí entra la confusión. But before we continue, any question? No? Yes? Bueno, ok. I will guess that everything is clear. If not, well, you are allowed to ask me later, right? In the, in the private session. Ahí se sueltan todos, ¿verdad? Okay. Que, no, que lo que no preguntaron por acá. Okay, no problem. Now, let's continue with... Well, okay, now, this was about the present simple, right? Now, let's talk about the... The present continuous. Para este sí preparé, ¿verdad? Y unas imágenes ilustrativas, ¿verdad? Para que pongan atención. Así que les voy a pedir que sí vean la presentación porque la verdad cuando hago este tipo de cosas se le pongo bastante esfuerzo. Va, ok. Next. We have the present continuous, ¿verdad? In the previous class we talked about these people. You know that we use it to talk about activities at the moment of speaking, right? And we use it for future plans or arrangements. And we have some examples here. Activities at the moment of speaking. Hoy nos vamos a enfocar solo en las actividades que suceden en el momento. For example, what are we doing right now? And we are listening to the instructions for this activity. Okay, thank you very much. We are listening, you see. Also, we are speaking English. We are watching our computers, right? Okay, very good. Now, as you can see, here we have an example. I'm just leaving for work. I'll be home in an hour, right? Ojo a las palabras resaltadas. Uh, next, please be quiet. The children are sleeping, right? Uh, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? And the last one, she's buying a new pair of shoes. She has an important interview. Okay, miren, she's buying a new pair of shoes. She has an interview. Okay, Fidel, please read number one. I'm just leaving work. I, I will be home in our in an hour thank you very much fidel um, let me see flor read number two please please be yeah. um, quiet mm -hmm. the children are sleeping thank you very much flor tell uh, me read number three I can hear you. Why are you laughing? Thank you very much. And the last one, um, Carla, the last one. Carla. Hello. Uh -huh. Read the last one. She's buying a new pair of shoes. She has a new important interview. Okay, thank you very much. 
Now people, bueno, solo un pequeño paréntesis, ¿verdad? Esta palabra es un poquito de, difícil de pronunciar. Hay varias personas que la dicen lauda, o sea, reírse, ¿verdad? Eh, pero se pronuncia laugh. O sea, ese GH, el GH, ¿verdad? Se pronuncia como una F, ¿ok? Laugh, ¿verdad? Entonces, si está con ING, diríamos laughing, vea Así que ojo ahí. Vale, ok. Vale. Y aquí tenemos ¿verdad? el ejemplo ¿verdad? de el, eh, activities at the moment of speaking. Todas, esas, todas estas actividades están pasando justo ahora. Ahora yo les pregunto, ¿pueden resolver estos ejercicios que están acá utilizando el present continuous? This is also in your mind. Y es on page 32. Ok, please work there. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, please try to solve this exercise. Remember that you are going to use the present continuous, okay? The present continuous. Page 32. Page 32. Okay, let's see some answers, all right? What do you have for number two, uh, Ophelia? Number two, we are here, number two. Number two. Cheryl, um, I, I can hear you, Ophelia, the microphone. Es cheer mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. I agree in this box. I agree. I, I know. Mm -hmm. Ok, vale. pero ahí me le hace falta el verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? que sería is. ¿verdad? Cherry uh -huh. is meeting Cherry with the meeting. new boss right now. Vale. Esta acá aquí, ¿verdad? Está agregada, ¿verdad? Es un error de. de... Uh -huh. eh, no sé si han escuchado el término yeah. typo. Ajá. Typo, ¿verdad? Se los escribo acá. Typo uh -huh. es un error de escritura, ¿verdad? A la hora de, bueno, de escribir, ¿verdad? En, en, en computadora o en teléfono. Typo, ¿verdad? It's an error of spelling. Ok, number three. María Estela, number three. 
he's taking okay. of everything. Okay, thank you very much. Number four, um, Darwin, number four. I am paying, paying attention to the insult. Thank you. Mayra, number five. She is preparing the briefing. Nice. Fidel, number six. Fidel. Mm, okay, Delmi, number six. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Thank you very much. Okay, now people, I ask you, what are you doing on Wednesday or tomorrow? Le voy a preguntar directamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, piensen en una actividad, pero tienen que decírmela but for example, like I am um, inviting, no, I am receiving some resumes, for example, ¿verdad? Vamos a preguntarlo en cadena, ¿ok? Así que voy a dejar de compartir acá. Eh, y pues nos retiramos, guys, porque eso, solo déjenme que salgan todos en la pantalla. Ok, good. Así, ¿verdad? Ok, le voy a preguntar primero a... Permítame. Ok, let's start with Carla. Carla Vázquez. Ok, Carla Vázquez, what are you doing on Wednesday? El resto de... On Wednesday. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, yes. On Wednesday, I will, I will have um, a meeting at the morning. And I have a review documents and do it a report. Thank you. Continue with uh, Mayra. Ajá, Carla, le tenía que preguntar a Mayra, Carla. <laughs> I am sorry. Uh, Mayra, uh, how do you do on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. I am meeting with my boss and I have to do some reports. Excellent. Continue, Mayra, with Flor. Flor, what do you do tomorrow? I am um, uh, going to the supermarket. Okay, good. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, Flor, to Maria Estela. Okay, the question, remember that is, what are you doing tomorrow? Maria Estela, what are you doing tomorrow? I am visiting to my sister tomorrow. Okay, Maria Estela, now to Ophelia. Ophelia. What are you doing tomorrow? I am working office. Okay, thank you. Ophelia, continue with Karina. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Así le tiene que preguntar, Ophelia. What are you doing tomorrow? Karina. Okay, I am preparing the meeting for my boss. Okay, uh, Karina to Darwin. Hi, Darwin, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am playing the video game. Okay, Darwin, ask okay. Delmi. <laughs> Good. In his yard, right? <laughs> okay, ask Delmi. Or in your free time. I work. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, tell me, tell me what are you do tomorrow? Tomorrow I am having lunch with my best friend. 
Okay, thank you very much, people. Now I'm going Sounds to take the, the final attendance real, real quick and we leave. Okay, Darwin Delgado, Delmis, Present. Duwin, Fatima Rosario, Present. Miguel Coreas, Flor de Maria, Present. Irene, eh, Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica, María Estela, Present. Present. Eh, María Vanessa, Mayra, Nelson Present. Alfredo, Nelson Sánchez, Ofelia, Raquel, Tatiana, en Walter Emerson. Okay, thank you very much. But, okay, people, uh, this is all for today. Thank you for paying attention and for being here. Uh, remember to practice the activity for today in the module. In, in, bueno, este el espacio, ¿verdad? Para alguien que lo quiera tomar. Si no hay nadie, pues me voy a quedar ahí, ¿verdad? En el chat les dije que me lo pusieran o si no. Bueno, acá me lo pueden poner. No, pero... Bueno, si no, pues, el, si no se van a quedar, ¿verdad? pueden retirarse. Eh, have a good night. Bye bye and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good, good night. night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. That was today's session. So I'm going to be here talking for 10 minutes. Uh, well, what should I explain? Let me see. Okay, let me project the, the word document. But first, let me have some water. I'm really thirsty. Okay, actually this is a private session, okay? But the student that was going to attend to this private session is Missy, uh, did not attend to the main video conference. I think he has some issues with his, I don't understand what, what happened to him, but he told me something in the WhatsApp group. Okay, but uh, in order for keep the conference going, okay, and not only me being there like, doing nothing. Well, I'm going to explain something about the present simple and the present continuous. As you know, these uh, structures sometimes might be confusing or uh, for, for, foreign, for foreign speakers, right? As for example, for us Spanish speakers, okay, it is confusing because we use the present sorry, the present simple and the present continues to talk about the present, even though one is for talking about the, an activity that is happening at the moment, and the other one is just for talking about the present in general. Now, uh, let's, let me show you the Word document that I prepared for this. Okay, just let me, okay. Okay, I guess that you can see me. And let me check if I'm recording. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. The simple present tense. Okay. Here we have a short introduction about the simple present tense. It says here that the simple present tense is the simple present tense is one of several forms of present tense in English. Okay. But actually, I'm going to delete this. Okay. It's not useful. Okay, it is used to describe habits, okay? On changing situations, general trust, trust, and fixed arrangements, okay? The simple present tense is simple to form, okay? Just use the base form of the verb, okay, and the pronoun. In this case, I take, you take, we take, they take, okay. This is why some people say that English is easy because for example, in Spanish, we have a lot of con, con, conjugaciones para los verbos. Okay, 
okay? But in English, it's easy, okay? It only changes uh, when, when you use the third person, right? But that is a, a simple rule and really easy to understand and to use, okay? The third person singular takes an S at the end. For example, he takes, she takes, right? Okay, this is really simple. But here are some of the uses and some, um, some examples. All right, now just let me show you my screen. Yes, 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 okay. Okay, to express habits, yeah, oh, oh no, 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 sorry. Okay, here we have the first uh, use, okay? To express habits, general trust, repeated actions or in changing situations, emotion in which is, for example, we have I smoke, that would be a habit. I work in London, on changing situation, right? Unless I change to another country, right? But in this case, it's an unchanged situation. London is a large city. That is a general trope. As you know, London is well, a pretty large or big city. Let's continue with other one. To give instructions and directions, or directions, sorry. Okay, excuse me for a second. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Okay, now uh, we have it to give instructions or directions. This is typical when you see some instructions, for example, for cooking a, a dish, all right? And here we have the example uh, for the directions, for directions, okay? You walk for 200 meters, then you turn left. There are some, these are some directions to get to a, to a specific place, right? We use it, we use the present simple for this. And also we use it to express a fixed arrangements, present or future. For example, your exam starts at 9 p.m. It could be 9 p.m. at that moment, so it would be present, but also you can be, for example, let's say that it's 7, p 7 a.m and you will tell your classmate, hey, hurry up, your exam starts at 9 a.m., right? Right, there is some strange noise in the, in the outside. Okay, then we have to express future time after some conjunctions, okay? And here we have the conjunctions. The conjunctions are high, are involved. Okay, uh, we have after, when, before, as soon as, and until. All right, there are more conjunctions. Okay, but we are going to use these ones for the examples. And here we have the example. He'll he'll give it to you when you come next Saturday. Okay, as you can see, it is expressing future, right? Okay, and here we have a, a warning, okay? Be careful, the simple present is not used to express actions happening right now. So in other words, it's telling you that when you are talking about ongoing situations, you must use the present continuous, not the simple present, okay? Clear, are we clear there? Good, now. Let's see more examples, okay? And here we have some more examples for habits. He drinks tea at breakfast, she only eats fish, okay? And you can read the rest, okay? Let me show them for you. These are the other examples for repeat actions.
for general trust. And we also have for general directions. Okay, you can read it to practice. You take the no. Okay, as you can see, these are instructions for open the packet and put the content into hot wire. Okay, this is for a specific. Uh, I think it's food or something. Okay, and here we have it for a direction to get to. I think they are going to Bedmont, Bedford. Sorry. Okay, and then we have for fixed arrangements, right? And here we have the example. His mother arrives tomorrow or holiday starts on the 20, 26th of March, of March, sorry, with future constructions. She has you and she lives and blah, blah, blah. Okay, the one that I was explaining. And here we have the reference, right? I would highly recommend this webpage. Education First is the name of the website. And this is the URL if you want to check more information about grammar and, and a lot of things that are there. Uh, remember that if you have any question, you can leave it in the comments of this video if you want. Or if you are a student of mine, remember that you can contact me by WhatsApp in the group. Try to do it in the group because in that way, you your classmates will know about your the information that you need. It might be helpful for them. And also sometimes they have the same questions, but they are afraid to ask in class and they, you know, they prefer someone else to ask for them. This happened a lot in the video and the private sessions. Okay, just let me check if I'm recording. Yes. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, at least listening to this private session and see you tomorrow and bye-bye.